Go back to the injury last year against Wake Forest. It was kind of a two-part injury. Earlier in the game, he, he went down in a heap on a hit from a defensive back, and then later, watch when he plants him. And this is where, this is why right there, just crumples underneath of him. receivers for Florida State. Greg Jones is the back. He'll test his rebuilt knee. He had over 900 yards a year ago. Fountain has early. Second down in inches. So here he is, Jones. He's got the first down and then some. Greg Jones comes back into tailback. First down. Seminole. Jones. Inside the 10 to the 5. They're just grabbing yardage in chunks. North Carolina can't stop them. No, and, and what a great block that time by Paul Irons, the tight end. Another gain of eight. He ends up on Doug Justice, the middle linebacker, and just takes him right to the ground. And those are the type of runs that are going to get Greg Jones mentally healthy. He took a shot right there on the thigh. The knee is 100%. The question is, is the mind right? Florida State goes to two tight ends. One-on-one -on -one up top, Tim. Pitch back, Jones, right side, touchdown Seminoles. Florida State, with a great opening drive, held scoreless. This second drive was perfection, and they get six. Well, they, they knew they had talent on this offensive line. It was just inexperienced and not much depth, and they're really tearing it up right now. Xavier Bethia is on for the extra point. 69 yards, five plays, the touchdown. And Bethia now for the extra point attempt. Good snap, good hold. He splits the sticks, and it's 7-0 Florida State. They made it look easy. And there's the big guy, 255-pound Greg Jones. He's back. Big old Greg Jones, who was questioned about his knee, he comes in here after having it rebuilt and working hard in the offseason. That's right, he's back. That was a pretty good cut, too. 7-0 Florida State is now. And, and the big question coming in was Greg Jones and his right knee. And watch the cut he makes. You've got to think his brain is turned off right now. He's just in game motion. He had to plant right on that right knee to get upside this inside this huge hole. Great blocking by the offensive front and the tight end, Paul Irons. And then takes a shot on the left thigh into the right thigh. And there, there was a time on, in Thursday's practice where Bobby Bowden was thinking he may not play Greg because of how he was favoring that right leg. I think Greg's coming in and just turned his brain off and he's just playing. Well, I think he looked fine, but the thing is he's, he's wearing a huge knee brace. I think that makes him look gimpy. You can see the knee brace he's wearing on that right knee. And, and if you go back to the injury last year against Wake Forest, it was kind of a two-part injury. Earlier in the game, he, he went down in a heap on a hit from a defensive back, and then later, watch when he plants him. And this is where, this is why right there, just crumples underneath of him. And that's why Bobby Bowden said it's not the, the contact that Greg Jones is worried about because he tore the ACL just making a cut. You know, who knows if it was weakened on the earlier hit. But that's why mentally Bobby Bowden said he didn't think he was quite there because he just wasn't evading people like he had seen him last year before the injury. So it's second down and 14 for Florida State. They run a the little slip screen, and here's Jones. Gets a lot of it back. He'll be three yards short of the first. But it'll bring up third down and short for Florida State. Man, when he gets it rolling, he's a oh, yeah. <laughs> He can get it downhill against North Carolina. Third down and short. Jones, the tailback. Here he is. Good cut. He's got the first. Look out. Across midfield. Still on his feet. 
And he just tattooed Dexter oh Reed, my. the nation's leading returner tackler. You want to talk about a bone to the jaw. I heard that from, uh, we're on the second deck. Wow. And he threw a forearm shiver into the face mask of Dexter Reed and knocked off his helmet. Watch this shot. This is unbelievable. This is a big, powerful man. That's insane. Dexter Reed is over 200 pounds. He's known for his hard-hitting, oh leading word. tackler out of the safety spot, and he was blasted. I played five years in the NFL, five years in college. That's the hardest hit I have ever seen a running back deliver. I, I can't believe that shot by Greg, Greg Jones on Dexter Reed. Carolina's defense right now looks a little battered, a little shell-shocked. <laughs> what do you think Dexter Reed's feeling like right about now? He's got a bruise across his chest and chin. Well, the freshman fin finished it, but it was the senior Greg Jones that got, uh, got me up out of my seat. I know it put the North Carolina fans in their seat with that T-bone he threw into the chest of Dexter Reed. It's plays like this that gr will bring Greg Jones back mentally from his injury. He was so ready to play. Let's take a look back at that run where he finished it so powerfully against Dexter Reed. And you can hear this shot. This was absolutely amazing. Oh, man. You know, if Dexter Reed doesn't land on the back of the blocking wide receiver, I think he lands on his back about four yards from where the right forearm Look at the size of those arms. When you combine his lifts, bench, clean, and squat, he's the strongest player on the entire Florida State team. I'll tell you this. He knows the difference between come here and sick him. <laughs> Greg Jones back in a tailback. First and goal. This is Jones. Down close to the goal line and stopped at the one. Clarence Gaddy, the linebacker, made the tackle. Got help from Kerry and Reed. Jones at 255 pounds, mentioned earlier. In the weight room, the strongest player. Not pound for pound, the strongest player at Florida State. Not quite 100%, but boy, he's really close, Tim. You said Eddie George. I, he reminds me of Stephen Davis. Four on the play clock. Gets it off. Here's Jones. Goes to midfield, there's your cut, and into North Carolina territory. Greg Jones. Jones with a 20-yard gain, and he's been spectacular tonight. Boy, this game is going to go a long way for the mental health of Greg Jones. You know, we were talking to Bobby yesterday, and, and there, there was a part of him that said, you know, after Thursday's practice, Greg just looked so hesitant on that reconstructed right knee. And it's not that it's not healthy. It's 100% healthy. He worked his butt off in the offseason and worked double sessions during the summer, getting himself back. But it was the mental part. And I think this game's going to go a long way for him having a great senior year. I'd like to have a number for the yaks tonight by Florida State. Yaks, I mean, yards after contact. Every one of their oh, ball carriers. I thought carriers, you were saying it's so hot they've thrown up a couple times on the sideline. <laughs> Every one of their ball carriers picking yes. up a lot of yardage after first contact. There's a few <laughs> yards right there after he's hit. Well, you can go ask Dexter Reed, who's probably got a bruise across his chest, thanks to uh, Mr. Jones, from that brutal forearm he threw into his chest. That was a few yaks. He gave him a yak. 